Now, is this waterproof? Is it waterproof? No. I don't think it's waterproof. What's your strat on to get it wet? Tell us what, tell them what we're doing today, Adam. We're making a live minter pond. We're making a minter pond, you know? That's about all we know. Yeah, it's about all we're doing. We got this little pump over here. See if, uh oh. It's pumping. It's pumping. Uh oh, uh oh. First litter in the pond. <laughs> now we just plug that in there, and then we get the air stone and plug it in the other side. I don't know how far it is in there. It goes in there. Yeah, that's good enough. So now stick that in there. Yeah. And now, bubbles. We have an aerator, guys. We have a fully aerated, semi-fully aerated pond. It says it's a 10-gallon aerator, but I'm sure, like, this this little pond, this is the smallest one they make. It's not... Is it 10 gallons, you think? I don't think it's 10 gallons. I think it's about, I don't know, probably 5 gallons. I think it should work, though. Now, as you see, guys, it's not exactly an amazing fish pond or anything. It's the same swimming pool that we grew up the chicks in. But you gotta keep in mind, guys, we're not keeping bass in here, and we're not keeping koi. Whatever that is. I don't even know what a koi fish is, do you? Yeah. What are, are, they, are they big? Yeah, they're big. Yeah, but I, I don't even know what they're doing. We're going with the best style fish I know how to catch, and that's minners. We're going to try to get us a little school of minners. Now, you may be wondering, like, dude, if you're going to build a pond, why don't you just put bass in it? Well, technically, in Kentucky, a bass is considered a game fish, and it's illegal to keep pet game fish. As well, catfish and bluegill are both game fish. Too. And so what makes it a game fish? Well, I'm not exactly sure about that, but they have size limits on them in lakes. And minners, well, they're not a game fish, so we can keep them, along with suckers. Suckers aren't game fish either. We're looking to have about 10 minnows in here, a little school maybe for a little pot of bait fish swim around, and then maybe one or two suckers just, you know, clean the algae off these bricks. Now, as much as I'd like to tell you that these bricks are for habitat to, you know, structure, the main reason is so that the wind doesn't blow it out of here. They can swim through. That, and they can swim through them, so, you know, hopefully they'll have fun with that. They'll honestly probably never figure it out. Now, do you think this should be in the middle or on the side? I don't know. I think we'll just play around with it. First, we gotta go get the minners, so. Oh, now I know what you were talking about. Is yeah, this waterproof? Yeah, what's it? It's gonna rain. Right. I forgot about rain. I really did. Can you make a case for it, you think? I think we can just do this. How's that look? All right, so now we need minners. How are we going to get the minners is the question. Well, here's what we're thinking. We're thinking first we're going to obviously set a minner trap because that's like, well, it's the easiest way to do it. We, you saw in the last minner trap video, we caught minners super quick. And so we're just going to try that again. Adam over here, he's putting in some habitat. I like it. I like it. What kind of grass is that? Some, uh... That's Kentucky 30 Blue Green. We'll take it. I like how it floats. I heard it's very good for meters. I did too. Small ponds. As for what are we planning on feeding all these creatures, well, I'm planning on feeding them bread because that's what they eat every other time. And bugs occasionally whenever I get a hold of them. And when it rains, they'll get more air. Yep, whenever it rains, they'll get even more oxygen than what's in that thing. So, yes, we are going to go minter trapping. We'll actually go do that right now. <laughs> okay, so now we're at the creek. This is the same exact spot that uh, I put the GoPro in the trap. Well, yeah, I mean, we caught them within literally, what was it? Like? It was like 30 seconds before I got the first one. So, we don't have much time today. You got about, I don't know, three hours we're only gonna leave it in for one but for bait we're gonna use this piece of light bread and these two shells right here i heard they do very good i did too there we go now as y'all know the main goal today is not to get bait it's not to catch a bunch but we only need about 10 good quality minnows we're not asking for a bunch we'll most likely even put some back if it's anything like last time because last time we caught a bunch of them oh god i can still see them i put all the minnows back so i know they're here I just have to hope that they are not scared of the minner trap. And their bullets. And the bullets. Is that the perfect spot? The perfect spot. Y'all whittle it right in there. Right in there beside the rock. And just like that, boom. We're good to go. A few moments later. <laughs> we got some nasty clouds moving in quick and, you know, it's been up 30 minutes. So, well, hopefully we have some. Get out your knife just in case. It's something. Mean snakes in here. If something jumps out at you, just... Just stab it. Always feel free to hold on to this sycamore right here if you need any help. Do we have anything? It's only been in here like 30 minutes, but 30 minutes was plenty enough last time. We do. Are they bluegill or minners? Oh, we got a lot, don't we? I got bad news. Are they all bluegill? They're all bluegill. All classified as game fish. Class A game fish. Cannot keep them against the law. Hashtag illegal. Hashtag law abiding citizens. If we kept those, we'd be hashtag fugitives. Hashtag lawbreakers. 
Well, I'll be Hashtag cured. federal penitentiary. I'll be cured. And they're all like super small too, which like we should keep them, but like technically that's legal. We gotta throw them all back and come back later. We'll put it back in. Yeah, we'll put it right back in. We'll throw these out and hopefully they won't come back. I don't know. Maybe we should take out the shells. I think it's bad luck. We'll just dump that trap right back in there where we found it, where we put it the first time. Right now, what time is it? 7-12. Alright, in 8 o'clock we'll come back and check it again. That should give it enough time to hopefully get a few fathead minnows. Because at this moment, fathead minnows are the only non-game fish that live in this creek. A few moments later. <laughs> okay guys, we're back at the trap right now. I just I just want to be honest with you guys. We went home. We didn't get to go to the bridge because we really don't have our life straight right now. But <laughs> we went home. We looked on Google. Is it illegal to keep bluegill? Apparently it's not even illegal. It's completely legal. Apparently it's legal to keep all native game fish as long as they meet the size limits, which there's no size limit on bluegill. To be honest, guys, we don't really know what we're doing. We're going to keep them anyway. So right now, if we catch a bluegill, whether they're that big or that big, we're going to keep them because apparently they're legal now. I don't know. Make your prediction. We have four. I'm going to say we have zero. We definitely <gasps> We got one. Oh, my gosh. Come on. Here, 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 here. It's, it, it's stuck. How many we got? Now we get the chubs. <laughs> <laughs> oh, two crawdaddies. Oh, yeah. Yes. yes. We can keep them too. There ain't yep. no game wall on that. Oh, yeah, baby. And they're small ones too, which is good. Want to dump them suckers in there? That name's Tim right there. Which one? Tim. Yeah, we can name them. You, you name one, Adam, and I'll name another crawdad. I want the big one. Okay. What's his name? Adam. The big one's name's Adam? Right there, Adam. Okay, the other one's name is... Kendall. Gerald. Okay, Gerald works. Yeah. <laughs> That's all she wrote, boys. Let's get to the house. Okay, plug up the life, life support life right here. <laughs> there we go, baby. We got bubbles. Now let's walk over here. Let's get Tim. Or what was the name? Adam Gerald. Gerald. Yeah, Adam and Gerald and all their little food. I mean, minners. We had a hard time getting up here. We had to get up here before they all, well, passed out, I guess. I don't know. Here we go, guys. Here we go. Let's go. Oh, let's do one at a time and see their reactions. Go ahead. Here's the bluegill that once was thought to be illegal, but apparently is not illegal now. There he goes. Oh, oh my gosh. What is he doing? Oh my he gosh. I have no idea where he is. I don't know. What, what is that? There's this little fat head minnow. He's a little bit calmer. Oh, I lied. Spoke too soon. Now. Here's another bluegill. And we're going, oh my gosh. They're going to have brain damage. Here's another bluegill. They say that with shad and stuff, you have to put them in a round tank. Because if you put them in a square tank, they'll bust their head open, hitting the corners. Evidently. But then here is the other fat head minnow. That's a big one. I bet you money he goes over there with the other two. Because the other two right now, they're stacked up together. And now all we got is two crawdads and one more bluegill. And don't worry, guys. That's not the end of the aquarium. Set that guy right there. See what he wants to do. What you going to do? That one's a... Gerald, because Adam's in here. The Adam's the bigger one. We'll set Adam right there. See what he wants oh, to do. Oh, hello, mini me. Oh, man. You want to take a picture with him? Nope. I ain't getting bit. And here is the other bluegill. There we go, guys. We're looking to put a lot more minners in here. A lot more minners, some bluegill, now that we know that they're legal or whatever. Maybe a spotted bass, because they don't have a limit in some of our lakes. Maybe a few more crawdads, and definitely one or two, uh, what are they called? Sucker, gizzard, I don't know. Suckers! And then here is their food for the first day and a half, I guess. Have fun, guys. Kendall has put me in charge of making the aquarium look fantastic. Now, the best thing to do is to find the best rock. What I like to do is just grab a handful. Yep, that looks good to me. And you put one there, one there. Oh, three there. One there. Oh, oh, one there. One there. I'd say it's about good. Okay, um, um, hmm. Yeah, we can add some more rocks. Yeah. A wild Kendall Gray appears. I got some walks. Yeah, I needed more than that. I was just doing handfuls. Oh, wow. I got some walks. I'm wanting to make some rock pals. I want to put one right over here. That works. Did you drown a fish in there? Probably. That way, maybe the crawdads can hide out right there. This is an amazing event. I told you it would work. Both of the bluegill, as you can see, both their tails are oh, sticking out. Here too, here. No way! No way! Yeah. The bluegills have already taken shelter inside of the brick. As you can tell. And there's another tail as right over there. Yeah, the bluegill like to stay inside. There's another bluegill peeping out right there, but I we think got we put this. Right there in the middle. Right in the middle. Right in the middle. This is truly insanity. This is crazy. So we have rock piles. We have a little bit of I would say temporary vegetation. What else can we get? We need some wood. That way, you know, they can have maybe a log jam. Well, this crawdad over here, he's starting to like the rock pile. What do we need? We need wood. Let's see if they like wood. Sometimes bass just like to hang around logs or wood pilings. We need to build a dock. Here we got our first official piece of wood. 
I'm curious to see if it floats. It definitely floats. Okay. It yeah, up. it'll be just like that. That way they got some wood to hang around. They got the aerator right there. Bricks, rock piles, vegetation. It's basically the best of every world. So, you know, we've looked at it a little bit. We've decided we need more. So we went over. Adam got a few more rocks. But when we came back, we added that big rock. Now, that's the biggest rock in here. What do you notice is under there? Adam. Adam's already under it. The biggest rock in here, the biggest crowd adds. I think we need more gravel. If you guys want to see more videos like this, including the small swim pool, that's the smallest plastic swim pool we could get. We can get one literally this big. And like from here to there. And we'll fill it up good. And we may even put some pretty good sized fish in it. But as for now, this is the first video with the pool. That's what we have in it. Hit the like button. Five. This is a stretch. He said 5,000. I'm gonna go 10,000. We've done this before. 10,000 likes, guys. I'll go out tomorrow and buy the biggest swimming pool plastic that they make. But you have to get 10,000 likes, guys. 9,950? That's not gonna do it, guys. I think the crop. See? The bluegill are liking the wood. They want anything they can hide their eyes with, and they're happy with it. And we've still not really got any big chub minners. I mean, that is the biggest chub minner we got. That's only two inches, and he's only about that big around. We're wanting some big three, four-inch chub minners. What are you doing? Making some celery? You making some celery, boy? Making a salad? As for now, there's not enough minners in there to really need much shade. If they need shade, they just go in the brick. But if we get serious about this, serious being like, you know, more than 5,000 likes. 10,000 for the big pool tomorrow, but over 5,000 likes, we'll call it serious. Like, we might straight up become archaeologists. Or not archaeologists, but biologists. Bio what do you call that? Biologists. There we go. But I tell you what, by golly, I'm going to say it again. 5,000 likes to be serious with this 10,000 for the big pool and for all the new videos with this pool 10,000 is our goal to get the big one now it is Saturday and every Saturday I do a verse of the week a verse from the Bible sort of to I mean I guess give you a little motivation to keep your week going today's title is called a binging now I know one of my favorite movie series is you know Marvel the Avengers but today taking evidence from the Bible I'm about to tell you why you should not be an Avenger you should not avenge yourself boys it ain't your job to avenge your job is to forgive and let God but nevertheless this week's verse is Proverbs 20 22 and it says don't say I will avenge this Eve wait on the Lord and he will rescue you now basically what that's saying is you know don't go avenge avenge meaning like getting revenge but yeah, avenging is basically like getting revenge. It's saying don't avenge yourself. Like, that's too much work if you ask me. It takes a lot of energy to get back at somebody when you have literally the most powerful avenger in the world, also known as God, and he will very happily and rightfully do it for you without you possibly getting hurt or the other person in the process. If someone's done you wrong, just let it go, guys. God will take care of it at the end. He'll settle it the way he wants to because I'm not trying to point fingers or anything, but chances are if you try to go avenge something yourself, it's probably not going to work out the best for you. I hate to say it, but it's like 100% true, guys. Whenever you start trying to play God, it does not work at all <laughs> but anyways guys it is saturday i will see you monday and guys monday's a great video like i'll dab on it it's a good one stay tuned people come back four o'clock monday you know the drill i will see you later people what's good gray gang thank you for watching another awesome video from kendall gray outdoors make sure to tell him all the other hunting and fishing videos you want from him stay tuned for all these awesome videos i'm out